Hello, welcome to the channel Data Science with Harshit. My name is Harshit Tyagi. I'm a data science instructor and mentor. So this is the first video of the channel where we're going to discuss what exactly is data science, why has it become the buzzword that it is these days, and how should you get started? What should be the learning path uh, towards uh, data science? Now, what exactly is data science? So is it about creating cool visualizations? Is it about statistics? Is it about coding? Is it about writing complex machine learning models? What is it? So data science is simply put, solving problems and creating impact using data, using past experiences. For example, a data scientist working at a product-based company would be working on some new product recommendations or he or she would be working on improving the existing products or they would be working on some data analytics platforms which would be used by the internal teams or the external teams. So it all started when in 2001, William S. Cleveland published his paper, Data Science, an Action Plan for Expanding Technical Areas of the Field of Statistics where he combined data mining with computer science and made the practical usage of statistics a lot more technical. We could now use computing power along with statistics and this amalgamation was called data science. So now let's try to understand what the data science space looks like. So this data science pyramid here is basically explaining us what's the hierarchy of needs or basically the skills that comprise the data science domain. Now the solution to any data science problem starts off with the collection of data, which is placed at the bottom. Next comes how easy is it to access the data and how efficient is the data infrastructure, which is ensured by data engineers in the second layer. Now, once you have the data infra set up, the analysts explore and transform this data to uncover hidden patterns, store analytics, and create visualizations that make the data easy to read. Then comes scientists and senior analysts who have expertise in AI, deep learning, designing experiments for A-B testing, and all. So you can see that the data science domain in itself gives rise to several job descriptions that you can aim for. Data engineers, data analysts, machine learning engineers, data scientists, research scientists, core scientists. So there are a bunch of opportunities that you can aim for. So why has data science become a buzzword these days? You see a lot of news around data science based companies and startups raising a lot of money. You see Neural Magic gets $15 million, AlterX uh, acquires machine learning startup feature labs, uh, companies raising seed funding of $50 million and just to launch some machine learning framework. The list just doesn't stop. There's an immense number of possibilities in data science with a large number of investors ready to fund these companies. This is going to be the future be it banking, finance, healthcare, agriculture, gaming, entertainment, space exploration, self-driven vehicles, you just name it. So when it comes to learning data science, I believe that there are four major subjects or four major branches of data science curriculum that an individual should work on. So the first branch is programming tools, where we cover what's Python, how to program in Python, how to program in R based on the language that you choose. Then we learn about how to use notebooks, various libraries like NumPy, Pandas, TensorFlow, Keras, etc. Then the second subject is data engineering where we learn about how to engineer our data, how to extract data, learn about writing SQL queries, exploratory analysis, data wrangling, databases and APIs. The third subject is Mathematics and Statistics, where we learn about linear algebra, stats, probability, hypothesis testing, A-B testing, how to design your experiments. 
The fourth and final subject and branch is called algorithms and systems where you learn about machine learning and deep learning algorithms, how to build recommender systems and other concepts. And all of this, you have to practice all these concepts in the form of projects solving real world problems. So now we have understood that there's a lot of interest in becoming data scientist and for good reasons. High job satisfaction, high demand, high salaries and high impact. So how should you get started? So a quick Google search on data science will give you a plethora of resources to learn from. There are podcasts, forums, blogs, articles, online courses, self-directed curricula, boot camps. So there are a lot of resources to learn from. But not a single resource cover the entire space. So with this channel, I'm trying to cover the best of all these resources and I'm trying to cover the entire data science space, the four branches of data science curriculum and all the concepts mentioned in the data science pyramid. Not only that, we would learn from data scientists working at Google, Microsoft, Amazon and such big companies and learn from CEOs what they look for data science and what they look for in data scientists. So I'll be starting off uh, the first series on Python programming uh, directed towards learning data science. So do subscribe to the channel as you would not want to miss any of the content coming ahead. And also make sure that you like this video if you found it useful. And you can connect with me on all these social media platforms. So make sure that uh, you connect with me on LinkedIn, connect with me on Instagram where I post a lot of stuff on health and wellness. You can connect with me on Medium where I write a lot on data science, statistics, mathematics. So looking forward to all these series coming out ahead and see you in the next video. Bye.